Hi everyone, so I'm back with some great internship opportunities. So in this video, we're going to discuss four different internship opportunities that are live right now and that you can apply to. Okay, all of these are very valuable internship and the links to all of them are going to be in the description box. And now let's discuss about them one by one. All right. So the first one we have is a full stack developer internship and this is a great internship opportunity. I'll tell you the reason why. So you can have a look at the details. It's just about basic web development, you know, HTML, CSS, JS, React, Angular, and then Node.js, Python, MySQL, or MongoDB. So just like basic web dev things. If you've done full stack web development, of course, these are things that you've already worked on, REST API, MongoDB, etc. right? If you're a Mern stack guy, or even if you're a Java full stack guy, definitely this is something that you can apply for. Now, the reason why this is a great internship is because the competition in internships like this is going to be significantly lesser. And even in that competition, the competition is going to be weak. So it's going to be easy to stand out. See, if you're someone who's worked in full stack, if you're someone who's made some high quality projects, it is going to be very easy for you to get an internship like this. Okay. And multiple people have come to me in the past and they said that they've applied to internship like this and they've gotten selected. Why? Because the competition here is not that difficult compared to a FANG internship. Like if you're going for a FANG internship, you're going to see a lot of competition. And of course, you'll be seeing some good strong competition but here it's going to be very easy for you to stand out so you have 17 days left but always try to be one of the early applicants do not wait till the last day apply today itself okay being an early applicant is always always and always going to give you some advantage even though not many people will agree with this but i strongly believe you should always be one of the early applicants okay so these are the details these are the requirements and of course, it has a good stipend as well and it is work from home, right? So that also adds up on top of the benefits we already have. So definitely, this is something that you guys can apply for. If you're a student, if you're a college student, you guys can definitely apply for this. The link is in the description box. Okay, make sure to apply ASAP. Now, next we have is a data science internship by GE Aerospace. So this is part of the GE complete group basically, right? And let me tell you, a lot of you guys have been asking me for data science internships, data analyst internships, and there aren't many of them, but whenever I find I'm bringing you guys, okay? So this is a data science internship, make sure that you guys apply for it, okay? And it has been posted by, like it has been posted yesterday itself, and this is the job ID or the role ID, and this is in Bangalore, okay? So you can see basically what are the uh, requirements for this, of course, it's related to data science, and it is for students of BTEC third year or fourth year okay so if you are a third year student fourth year student 26 grad 27 grad definitely this is something that you guys can go for okay the skills are not that much complicated just if you're a basic data science guy you know the core skills of data science then definitely you can apply for it okay now next one we have is the data analytics internship by blue mutual fund okay again this is again one of those internships where the competition is significantly lesser so if you're someone who wants to go into the field of data, then definitely this is something that you can apply for. See, these are the internships, this and this, these are the internships which are easier to crack. And once you get these internships, it will come in your resume. So you're going to have an actual paid internship in your resume. You're going to showcase to the recruiter that you have some industry level experience now, which is why it's very important that you go into these internships. Okay. And this is also a work from home internship. The stipend is not that great comparatively, but again, it's pretty decent. And of course the work is going to be good. So you can definitely apply for it. Okay. These are the details that you need to have, you know, the basic, again, the basic core data analytics skills. If you have, these are something that you can definitely apply into. Okay. So again, a great opportunity apply right away. Do not care about this see always be one of the early applicants that is my definitely that is my motto while applying okay the, again the link is in the description box apply asap okay for all of those for all of these links apply asap now the next one we have is backend developer internship at ibm now ibm of course you guys already know is a great company to work at so this is going to be a backend role the required education for this is bachelor's degree so based on that we can assume that if you're a college student you may not be eligible 25 grads are of course eligible for this if you're a college student if you're a 26 grad then it's not fully sure whether you can apply or not you know because they haven't mentioned whether students can apply or not of course this is an internship and then most of the internship finally students can apply so again this is something that is not very clear they haven't given clearly to be honest but definitely if you're 25 grad you can definitely go for it and the job id is here so if you know someone in ibm you can ask them about it or if you know any hr you can ask them about it but this is again a great 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 opportunity that you guys can apply into okay so that's pretty much it about the video all of these are great opportunities that you guys can apply for links are going to be in the description box and make sure if you're a college student you try to score at least one internship 
so that you're able to get some industry level exposure it's not mandatory it's not absolutely necessary but if you're able to get an internship it is going to help you okay and i'll be bringing you guys more internship opportunities in the future so make sure that you subscribe for that and yeah that's pretty much it let's see you guys in the next video